masters all things. I am mastered totally by love. By my passion of love for love, I have been ground sweet as sugar. Oh furious wind, I am only a straw before you. How could I know where I will be blown next? Whoever claims to have made a pact with destiny reveals himself a liar and a fool. What is any of us but a straw in a storm? How could anyone make a pact with a hurricane? God is working everywhere. His massive resurrection. How can we pretend to act on our own? In the hand of love, I am like a cat in a sack. Sometimes love hoists me into the air. Sometimes love flings me to the ground. Sometimes love swings me round and round his head. I have no peace in this world or any other. The lovers of God have fallen in a furious river. They have surrendered themselves to love's commands. Like mill wheels, they turn day and night, day and night, constantly turning and turning and turning and crying out. Love is the one who masters all things. I am mastered totally by love. Love is the one who masters all things. I am mastered totally by love. A man started to break up the earth with a spade. A fool came and shouted at him, Why are you ruining the soil? You idiot, the man cried. Go away and don't bother me. Understand the difference between destruction and growth. How could this soil become a rose garden or wheat field before it's broken up and ruined and made ugly? How could it become orchards and harvests and leaves and fruit before it is utterly destroyed and worn down? Before you pierce an abscess with a knife, how can it heal and how can you regain your health? Until the doctor purifies your humors with his cures, how can your illness disappear and true healing arrive? When a tailor cuts up a cloth, piece by piece, does anyone go up to him and strike him and say, why have you torn up this beautiful satin? What can I do with scraps of torn up cloth? Each time that builders come to repair an old building, don't they begin by destroying what was there before? Look at the carpenter, or the blacksmith, or the butcher. With them too, you will find destruction precedes renewal. If you don't subject wheat to the grinding millstone, how will bread ever come to decorate your table?
our master spoke one day to a nobleman about mystical truth. He said, in the state you have attained, you have become gold. Now you must transform even more of yourself into gold. You have to come to a time when you will enter into the furnace, begin to boil, and offer yourself up for hammering on the anvil of mortification by the blows of the coiner, so you can become a ring worthy of Solomon or an earring that could adorn an emperor. Most of the seekers you see are just imitators. They will become authentic when they dare to enter the hearth of love and when they endure on the anvil of patience the blows of misery and suffer impossible situations. Then, after many ordeals, they will find purity and will become the mirror of God. Whatever the blow that arrives from heaven, wait to receive a robe of honor afterwards. My beloved is not a king who thrashes you and then does not give you a crown and a throne to rest on. The world is worth less than the eye of a mosquito Yet for a single blow, there is infinite reward. Take from your neck now the world's gold collar. Receive with no protection the blows God sends. Didn't the prophets receive blows on their necks? That pain is what forced them to hold their heads high. Never abandon your innermost core, even for a moment, so the Beloved will always find you at home. Otherwise, he'll remove his robe of honor and say, I came to see him myself and found no one in me. Since love has made ruins of my heart, the sun must come and illumine them. Such generosity has broken me with shame. The king prayed for me and granted me his prayer. How many times just to calm me did he show his face? I said I saw his face, but it was only a veil. He charred a universe through the flaming out of this veil. Oh my God, how could such a king ever be unveiled? Love reared in front of me, and I followed him. He turned and seized me like an eagle. What a blessing it was to be his prey. I plunged into a sea of ecstasy and fled all pain. If anguish is not delicious meat to you, it is because you have never tasted this wine. The prophets accept all agony and trust it, for the water has never feared the fire. Grapes of my body can only become wine after the winemaker tramples me.
I surrender my spirit like grapes to his trampling, so my inmost heart can blaze and dance with joy. Although the grapes go on weeping blood and sobbing, I cannot bear any more anguish, any more cruelty. The trampler stuffs cotton in his ears. I am not working in ignorance. You can deny me if you want. You have every excuse. But it is I who am the master of this work. And when, through my passion, you reach perfection, you will never be done praising my name. Suffering is a treasure, for it conceals mercies. The almond becomes fresh when you peel off the rind. Oh, my friend, staying in a cold, dark place and bearing patiently the grief Weakness and pain is the source of life and the cup of abandon. The heights are found only in the depths of abasement. Spring is hidden in autumn, and autumn pregnant with spring. Flee neither, be the friend of grief. Accept desolation. Hunt for the life that springs from the death of yourself. Dancing is not rising to your feet painlessly like a whirl of dust blown about by the wind. Dancing is when you rise above both worlds, tearing your heart to pieces and giving up your soul. Dance while you can shatter your own self and pluck out the cotton from the wound of self-obsession. Ordinary beings dance and frolic in the square. People of God dance in their own blood. One day, in your wine shop, I drank a little wine, and I threw off this robe of my body, and I knew, drunk on you, this cosmos is harmony. Creation, destruction, I am dancing for them both. choked with thorns, but a lover's heart will stay a rose garden. The wheel of heaven could wind to a halt, but the world of lovers will go on turning. Even if every being grew sad, a lover's soul will still stay fresh vibrant light. Are all the candles out? Hand them to a lover. A lover shoots out a hundred thousand fires. A lover may be solitary, but he is never alone. For companion, he has always the hidden beloved. The drunkenness of lovers comes from the soul and love's companion stays hidden in secret. 
Love cannot be deceived by a hundred promises. It knows how innumerable the ploys of seducers are. Wherever you find a lover on a bed of pain, you find the beloved right by his bedside. So mount the stallion of love and do not fear the path. Love's stallion knows the way exactly and with one leap, love's horse will carry you home, however black with obstacles the way may be. The soul of a real lover spurns all animal fodder and only in the wine of bliss can his soul find peace. Through the grace of my beloved Shamsuddin of Tabriz, may you possess a heart at once drunk and supremely lucid.